Um, talking of, of getting on horses, let's let's go back to the very beginning because um, French, yes, uh, by blood, but obviously brought up in the Caribbean in Barbados. Um, talk us through racing at Garrison Savannah. It looks very unique, um, very much unlike this track here. Um, we've got some footage here of, of the Garrison. What's this place like to ride? Um, it's very electric, you know, the, the atmosphere there, the whole you feel like the whole of Barbados comes around the actual race course because uh, everyone stands around yeah. the, the actual track. So as a jockey, it's very, you know, it's, a, it's this buzzy atmosphere that you, 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 it's, a, it's comparable to a Royal Ascot, yeah. but in a every much day, smaller... Every weekend. <laughs> yeah, but on a much smaller uh, <laughs> um, size. But uh, yeah, it's the same, you know, electric feeling where the whole crowd is cheering, everyone's watching, and and it's six furlongs the whole way around, so That's you're always incredible. turning, you're always going quick, 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 and keep going. <laughs> <laughs> and did you ride many winners back home? Yeah, um, yeah, I rode a few. I uh, can't, can't, can't count them on sure. my hand. I think 21. Okay. 21 and and, and, and what about the, the sort of the, the, the competition there? I imagine it's quite competitive, obviously. So some good jockeys. You and I were talking earlier on before we, we, we started the show that obviously a lot of them go to Canada and different places as well. That don't quite. Patrick Husband's one of them. Yeah, Patrick Husband, John or Jones. Um, Ricky Walcott, um, very good jockeys, you know, they're stylish. I mean, yeah, it's, it's quick racing, you know, yeah. so you've got to be sharp to, to ride there. Yeah, so when, when they go over to Canada and America, they, they succeed, you know. And, but I went over the other side of the pond to England. You <laughs> did, and that leads me on very nicely indeed, because England was where you went over to the UK, obviously, and there was a, a connection there with uh, one of our greatest trainers, uh, Sir Michael Stout, you went, you went to him. What was that like when you first landed in, in England and then off to Newmarket? I mean, that was a bit of a, a baptism for you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, honestly, when you arrive in Newmarket, coming from Barbados... How old were you here? I was 16. Wow. My horse was called Imposing. He went over to Australia to run. Did he really? Yeah. And what, uh, was, what was this man like to work for? He, <laughs> he, he's got a character, you know. He? He, um, when you... When you give him feedback after the gallops he'd write everything down on his Did hand really? with no pen just which was quite interesting yeah. you know that's just you know a, a special human being so intelligent um he'd know all of the pedigrees of every single horse and have a program for every single horse yeah. extremely patient um so i think i i had the best apprenticeship um available um, working with the, the for me, sure. I consider him as mm. oh, he's a legend, a legend yeah. of a horse trainer, sure. um, and very patient, extremely patient, which which you know taught me today the patience to have in the racing, mm. um, which we need for every single horse anywhere in the world. You know, you can't uh, rush everything and expect to to become the best. Uh, no, indeed. Yeah, and talking of, of being the best, uh, one of your big wins or your biggest win in the UK, arguably, was the the 2010 Cesarovich. It'll be 10 years this autumn. I'm going to try and make you feel old, but um, aim to prosper for Brian Meehan, a horse that had won it again a couple of years later, ridden by Kieran Fallon, yeah. who you were telling me earlier on obviously was a, a bit of a mentor to you, along with the likes of Frankie de Tory and Ray Cochran and a few other people. Yeah, I had I had the luck. Where, um, I had the privilege of 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 learning from the best in the world in this profession, you know. I had the choice of going to Canada, but I went to England, um, where I worked for uh, the best, for me, um, the best, one of the yeah. best trainers in the world. Um, when I arrived there, Kieran Fallon was, was, you know, serving suspension, so I was, he was riding out every morning. He'd drive me to the races, sometimes walk the track yeah. uh, with me, wherever I'd be going racing. Um, then I had, uh, Kieran, uh, Frankie de Tori's agent, Ray Cochran, who used to, you know, really give me feedback and and um, about my races, you know, how to ride, you know, do different different sure. things, which I which I learned um, along the way. And then, you know, Frankie obviously because we were the only two jockeys under Ray Cochran's, um, you know, agenting. Mm. Um, I'd go racing with him. He he, and so after the races, we'd go back to his house and you know get on the mechanical horse. He'd give me a few, few tips on on my riding style and uh, and everything. And that's what what made me today, who I am, is all of this. Kieran sure. Fallon, Ray Cochran, Sir Michael Stout. 
and also Ryan Moore. Um, Ryan Moore was became first jockey for Sir Michael Stout that, around that period. So, you know, he 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 gave me the um, you know the the right mentality to to have with the trainers and sure. and with with the horses and basically what to think as a young 17 year old apprentice mm. arriving in the the Fun mecca land. of horse racing you know the best horse racing in the world at, at that time you know and even today with the best horse breeding in the world um, so it was, it was really exceptional indeed well, regrettably Louis, we are running out of a little bit of time but just finally one final question where's Louis Philippe Bozlan in say five years and maybe ten years where, where do you see yourself um, honestly um the first thing I told myself when I arrived here in Singapore um, was I regretted not to have come here ten, right. year, ten years ago. That's interesting. You know, because I, you know, I went to France um, because it is uh, financially the most interesting for a jockey in Europe. So I went. That's why, hence why I went to France, which was very good. Also, a lot big learning curve working with good trainers. But uh, I, I. The first thing I, s I said was well, I should have come here. Yeah. So long ago. It's it's. I love Singapore. Everything. The transport. You know. Work in the morning. Go home with the bus. And it's everything mm. is. It's just sim simplifies yeah. life in itself. Indeed. So in five years, Louis Bozlan will still be riding wins at Crown G. I hope so. Listen, Louis. Uh, it's been great to have you on the show. Many thanks for for coming on, and, and we look forward to to calling plenty of winners home for you uh, in the next uh, few months and years. I hope so. Got to keep the ball going and. Keep the name for myself. Indeed, I'm sure you will. Ladies and gentlemen, Louis Bozalan, our guest on the show. Let's